Bellator has parted way with 18 fighters. Uh, the most notable names on this list, Daniel Strauss, Liam McGarry, Beck Rawlings, Taiwan, Claxton, John Teixeira, uh, Dominic Mazzotta. Uh, I would say none of these names really shocked me. Taiwan Claxton alluded to his, his fight. His contract was up with Bellator after his last fight. Not, not, a, not really any surprises here. Yeah, uh, I think when you look at this list, there's no surprises. But you just kind of look at this list and, you know, shout out to uh, some of these guys who've had pretty remarkable careers in Bellator. You know, Daniel Strauss, legitimate Bellator career. Liam McGarry, legit Bellator career. Uh, you know, I was surprised Beck Rollins under contract or uh, Heather Hardy didn't pan out the way I think they wanted to. But, man, out of all these fighters, I think Liam is the one who – I thought he probably would have been a bigger star than he ended up being. I just thought the light heavyweight division was set up for him to kind of be the champion for a while. And unfortunately he wasn't able to do it, but you know, this was a light heavyweight division that, you know, had like a manual Newton up top, Attila vague and, and Liam kind of came out and you thought, Oh, this guy's got to look to him and also the way he performs, but it didn't necessarily, you know, pan out that way. But, uh, yeah, you know, uh, it doesn't make too. It doesn't. Uh, a lot of these names don't surprise you. Nothing jumps out. But uh, yeah, man, I, I think. Uh, who do you think would be the top free agent for uh, another organization? You know, if you're a PFL looking to add one of these fighters to your tournament, who would you go after? I'd want to see him go out there and get some wins. Daniel's got the legal issue. Yeah, Liam would probably be the guy that would make the most sense for a PFL. Yeah, I mean, I think so. I think, look, if you uh, – do any of the – because Heather Hardy fought like at 125, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, she, she noted on her uh, social media that it, it's just boxing. And then what about uh, – yeah, I think uh, uh, maybe maybe Claxton. I mean, he's now lost – was it – has he lost back-to-back fights or like or two or three or something along those lines? He would be a definitely a guy that – you know, to potentially bring in, yeah, I went. You know, if yeah, I'm I mean, trying one class, that's what I'm trying to oof. do. Yeah, he's lost two. He lost two in a row. On, on probably on the prelims, so to Justin Gonzalez and JJ Wilson, back to back split decisions. But yeah, you, you go back to the initial run he went on. Um, man, yeah, he started out five and zero, oh, and then uh, loses to Sanchez, and now he's now he's uh now he's lost three out of four. But um, you know, we saw Bubba Jenkins, you know, do well in PFL this season, so. You know, guys who have Bellator careers to start off good and end poorly can absolutely make that change.